How's it going everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today my video is gonna be a fairly quick one. I'm gonna try to keep it short, maybe 10-15 minutes, but I wanted to do two things. One, give you an update about my current rig setup, and then two, talk to you about a uh, problem that I'm having with one of my uh, main rigs, my NVIDIA rig. So I'm gonna get, get into it right away. This is gonna be more of a video that I talk a little bit more than, than my other videos. Um, so here's the, the update, uh, kind of a rig update. Uh, this is my AMD rig. It's fairly, uh, it's working well, kind of uh, stable 99.9% .9 of the time. It crashes, it crashed maybe once or twice since I set it up. One RX uh, 480, that's the one in the back. And then we have five RX 580s. This one is an RX uh, 590. And then the latest one is the 6700 XT all on the um, the MSI Z390A Pro that can hold seven GPUs. And with the adapter over there, the M.2 to PCIe adapter, we can do uh, seven GPUs. Fairly stable, working fantastic. No complaints about that one. We'll go into details uh, maybe in a, in a later video. Now, the my other rig, and which is the rig that I was extremely static about, Aesthetic about is my um, 10 GPU rig, and this is what I call the uh, NVIDIA rig. Uh, we have a dual supply setup, uh, dual power supply setup, a regular ATX power supply to power the motherboard, and a server power supply that's from Parallel Miner, that's a 900 watt uh, PSU. Uh, everything was working fine. I had 10 GPUs recognized, uh, everything was kind of fine tuned and overclocks, and then I started having overclock problems and the rig would crash. Um, it kept on doing that for a couple of days and then I would restart it and it would work fine. And then today, um, the motherboard stopped booting. It would give me a, a CPU, the LED, the LED light, uh, the CPU LED light on the motherboard would, uh, kind of, uh, turn red and it wouldn't boot into Hive OS. Uh, so I, I took the motherboard out and I want to troubleshoot as part of this video. I want to troubleshoot and try to figure out what the issue is. But uh, yeah, final uh, kind of overview about this rig. We've got 1660 supers over here. And then we have um, 1660 supers. Actually, these are five 1660 supers and one uh, 3060 Ti. This is 1660 super as well. This is a 3080 and we've got a 1070 and a 1070 Ti in the back. A 900 watt PSU and an 850 watt uh, thermal take PSU as well. Total consumption around, uh, you know, is around one kilowatt when when this thing is up and running. And roughly this is uh, maybe a little bit 900 or 850 uh, when things are up and up and running. So I'm not gonna. Um, I'll, I'll do a longer update video uh, at a later stage after I get everything up and running. But for today's video, I'll kind of want to move to uh, troubleshooting the motherboard. So let's go to that. All right, so this is what I have over here. I've got my 12 um, GPU Gigabyte GA B250 FinTech uh, motherboard uh, that's causing me issues. Uh, whenever I try to boot it, the, the LED light here that says CPU turns uh, red. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test it again on on, on another monitor and then see uh, what the issue is. I've got my test PSU over here. This is a cheap 850 Rosewell PSU that I only use for testing. And in case we continue to have issues with this CPU, I have a another CPU that I'm we're gonna be able to use, and this is the Pentium G4400, which is co compatible with this uh, with this motherboard. Uh, if this doesn't solve the problem, then I'm, I'm really worried that this is going to be a motherboard issue, which would mess things up big time for me. I don't have a spare motherboard. I definitely don't have anything else that can support 12 GPUs. I've sized everything in terms of PSUs and, and wiring and all of that on this. You know, I depended on this motherboard. So I'm kind of hoping that Maybe this is a RAM problem. I don't think I have spare RAMs either. Maybe this is RAM problem. Maybe this is some connectivity problem that's going on. I'm really hoping that this is not a motherboard problem. I don't have a problem with the CPU being the issue, but I hope it's not the, the motherboard. So I'm gonna set my um, my camera on the side and we'll, we'll kind of like troubleshoot this uh, together and then uh, we'll come back after. All right, so bear with me for a sec.
All right, it looks like it's a motherboard problem. There you go. Okay. I gotta do some Googling. This is very frustrating. Why would the motherboard just stop working? So I, I can't figure out why the CPU is not booting up or the motherboard is not booting up. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do right now is Google some stuff, see what other people have done, see if people have had similar issues with this specific motherboard and whether they figured it out or not. If um, I couldn't figure out all, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be quick about this. All I'm gonna do is go and try to find an alternative as soon as possible and then make it work. I cannot afford to sit around and have this be down. I've got 10 GPUs that are not working right now. So I need to fix that ASAP. All right, folks, so I've given up on the B, on the, on the Gigabyte B250 12 GPU uh, motherboard. Um, I couldn't figure out what the issue was. The CPU red button or red LED kept turning on. So for now, I'm just gonna try to figure out what else I can do. I went through an old pile of uh, computer parts that I've had and I found this motherboard, the Asus P5Q3. Uh, I bought this one uh, off of Facebook Marketplace pretty much for 10, 10 bucks or 15 bucks maybe, maybe 20. I'm not 100% sure, honestly, it's been a while ago. And for the longest time, I couldn't make it work. Uh, but I have a feeling that I do know what the issue is right now and I and I think I can, I can turn it on. I replaced the RAMs, um, but what I wanna do first is uh, take out the CPU cooler, um, add some thermal paste, put it back on, um, and then see if it's gonna boot up or not. I'm gonna also run it in HiveOS so we can check it on the screen right away, uh, see if it's gonna work or not. So, uh, first things first, I'm gonna mount it on uh, this piece of wood. I usually do so uh, because I put it on a metal rack on the shelving unit, uh, so this way it kind of like keeps it um, uh, separated from that or not, not in contact with that and uh, on this um, on this wooden board I use pretty much this tubing I covered it in my previous videos to uh, create a little bit of like a riser it's a very cheap way of creating a riser or, or a uh, like a separator uh, for the motherboard away from uh, the wood also so that the motherboard is not touching the wood so I cut it into small pieces like that and then I put it below um, the motherboard and I screw in the motherboard into the wooden board. So I'm gonna speed through this part um, and then and then we'll kind of try to boot this up. I already installed HiveOS on this uh, on this USB. We'll connect it, we'll boot it, we'll see if it's gonna recognize one GPU and then after that I'll see if it recognize another one and if it does then, then it's amazing. And then I gotta figure out what to do with my other GPUs. I've got a 3070 coming in tomorrow that's gonna not gonna have a home pretty much. So I need to act fast uh, on finding another motherboard and a CPU, and then try to figure out also my PSU setup. Now it now everything's kind of messed up when this died. It's kind of unfortunate. I'll still try to troubleshoot and see what what's wrong with it. But for now, I just need to get things up and running again. All right, we've replaced the thermal paste on the CPU. We've mounted this to the piece of wood. Now, uh, what I'm gonna try to do is actually boot it up and see if it works. First things first, power. Okay, we've already done this a million times, so this is gonna be quick. There you go. Here's your power. CPU, so basically the C plus two. Here it is. Right. 
okay right here perfect and this uh, motherboard doesn't have like it has an old display uh, graphics output or it doesn't have any I don't recognize it honestly this is probably way before my time <laughs> so I'm gonna put this 1660 super Perfect. And what else do we need? We need to power the 1660 Super. There is my PCIe connection. Takes one 8 pin connection. We have our um, Hive OS right here. And then we need LAN. Because we're going to connect it. This land, and then I'm gonna get a display signal into the GPU so that we can see what's going on on the screen. Okay, I just turned on the, the PSU, it gave me the standard power light, which is a good sign, and I'm gonna short it uh, to power it on. Did it turn on? Magic. This is amazing. I hope you guys can see the screen. Yeah, high for us worked. Okay, we've got one 1660 Super here on a riser. Um, okay, into the one PCIe slot, and then we've got this on the motherboard itself. We're powering this one via SATA, let's turn it on. Okay, both of them turned on. This is on, this is on. Let's see what happens on the screen. I wonder if I'm gonna get a signal, like a display signal. Oh, I did, okay, cool. Two GPUs, it found the other one. <laughs> this is amazing. Perfect. I'm very happy. I'm going to end the video over here. It's getting a little bit late. It's almost uh, 1 a.m. Uh, where I live. Um, tomorrow, what I'm going to do is add two more GPUs on this setup and I'm going to put it in the wire rack and see if it's going to work or not. And if it does, I'll make a video about it and then uh, it'd be great because this is in a very, very old motherboard and this shows us that maybe potentially on a, you know, this is almost a 10 year old motherboard that cost me 20 bucks pretty much when I bought it on Facebook Marketplace that we can make fairly new GPUs work and mine quite well. I mean, one of the biggest costs right now of, G of mining is, is finding CPUs and, 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 and motherboards and if you're able to find something like this on Facebook Marketplace or, or 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 anything of that sort, whatever local marketplace you have, this you'll save a lot of money. All right. Sorry for the rambling and sorry this was a very lengthy video. It was a little bit frustrating that we couldn't figure out what's wrong with the with the B two B B two fifty fintech, but that's for another day. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. As always, I'm very happy to answer them. Uh, sometimes it takes me a couple of days because uh, I have a full-time job and I have other things that I'm also occupied with. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care of yourself.